Hi, I'm Patty Meyer. I'm a photographer and artist and a Twin City Optimist Club member. Thanks for participating in the Leaders Art Challenge. It's sponsored by Twin City Optimist Club. And today's art challenge is rock painting. So let's get started. Okay, today's art project is a rock painting. So I want to introduce you to Caitlin. She's my uh, granddaughter and she'll be helping us today with our art project. She's working right now on, what are you making? A heart I am making. She's making a heart on this rock. She's using a marker. So first we need to get our rocks. So you can go in the yard and look for some rocks or if you have rocks laying around, uh, make sure they're clean, wash them off and then uh, let them dry. You can dry them in the sun or just let them dry and they dry pretty quickly. Then uh, get your art supplies together and whatever you have at your house works. So if you have uh, watercolors, you can use those. Uh, washable markers or Sharpie markers work. Uh, I've also used pens on some of mine. So pens work really well also. Or you can use any kind of acrylic paint. It doesn't matter what brand it is. Whatever paint you have works. Okay, so Caitlin's working on this one. She's using some markers. She's making an emoji. Mm -hmm. and she's making a smiley one so she's coloring it yellow right now uh, I want to show you some rocks that we've already done and what we used to make them so this one right here was used we used watercolors to make that one watercolors work really good on rocks you wouldn't think they would but uh, don't use a lot of water and if you don't have a brush uh, you can use some other things like a q-tip works well or you can even use the back end of a pencil uh, to paint with or you can make circles with the back end of the pencil I've also got a toothpick here you can use that uh, to draw lines if you need skinny lines on on whatever art project you're doing whatever uh, design that you want to use uh, this rock right here looks like a piece of paper and then you can write your words on it uh, that's done with markers uh, this one is done with pens, so you can make designs on your rocks with pens. I'm just showing you some ideas so that it'll start your uh, creative process going. Um, Caitlin just finished a watermelon that looks super cool, and she did that with markers. But you can see she did the green, the white, and she's got, the white is paint. Uh, but everything else on there is a, is a marker. And then we've got a rainbow marker, right? Or rainbow marker, rainbow rock right here. Oh, wow, look at that. So quick and easy. She's already done with her, her emoji uh, smile. So that was easy to do too. So have some fun with this and just create because these are all super cool. Those are Sharpie markers. So it was a fun project. And don't forget to post. We want to see what you, what you created. Thank you.